welcome and welcome back to my YouTube video. This is me, Alicia. If this is your first time here, and if not, welcome back. Okay, so before we get started, let's just go a little quick round robin that we have going on here. This is a wig, my most recent wig review of the month. I will put it up here so you guys can check that out. Um, my lippy is a combination of the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and then the Milani Lipstick in color Matte, M-A-T-T-E, style what I have going on here of course you guys know that I make my own bracelets and then this is a um, cardigan that I got from Target it was in my Target haul that I did I don't know a couple videos back maybe I'll link that over here um so yeah I'm pretty sure I was able to get everything going on okay let's get into the video okay if you're like me you've been home a lot a lot a lot a lot and what I have realized is I'm normally like a naturally organized person just naturally I'm just organized I hate anything to be out of place but especially since we've been home I've been getting a little bit more organized like things that I see that I think can get a little bit more organized I've been doing that um I started when I started the process I was trying to go to the container store well online and realized that they're a little expensive like the container store is trying to take all of my contained coins and she just doesn't have time for that so I went where I always get to get shit I need in a, in a hurry. I went to Amazon. So just want to give you guys, I have a little bit of everything and I'm actually going to take you guys throughout the house because I figure I could easily just stand here and pull up the product and show it to you in my hand or I can show you where I'm using it in real time, in real space so that you guys can, can kind of see like the concepts and stuff like that. So going to be taking you guys around the house to show you all the things that I've bought lately to kind of help with my organization OCD skills. Um, as always, because this is Amazon, I'm able to link everything that I use exactly. So I will link direct links in the description box. Um, is that it for the intro? Yep, that's it. Let's get into the video. Okay, so we're going to start in my closet because this is a couple of things that I have I want you to see. Um, let me pull this down so you guys can see it. So first things first, we have my sunglass holders. This, you guys have seen my closet and I've even done an updated one to show you guys how I've not completely revamped it, but re redid the way I kind of store some things. I was kind of looking for like a boutique feel, so I have. Anyway, I don't know if the video's out yet. If yes, I'll link it up here. If not stay tuned um but I had uh simple things that I had right here for my sunglasses and kind of wanted something like I had jewelry organizers that I kind of finagled into being sunglass holders and didn't really like it so I went online and got these things from um Amazon they came two in a pack and they're basically clear sunglass holders lift them up and it has all of the sunglasses in here like I said they came in a two pack so I can have um basically five sunglasses each. I have a relatively larger <laughs> sunglass collection. So I actually had to get two of the two packs. So I got a total of four to have about 20 sunglasses. Um, and I think I'm gonna have to get one more two for it just in case. Like if you guys, if I hadn't told you before, I am obsessed with sunglasses. I love buying sunglasses. However, I do not pay um, over $20 for any pair of sunglasses because I lose them quite often so there's that um yeah so this is the sunglasses like I said there's four here let me move that over so I have four here that are just sitting nice cute spaces um and yeah easy for me to get my sunglasses out and all that kind of stuff and I even have one let's see if I can find it yep this one that also has my blue light glasses in the back so that is another thing if you have oversized glasses which these three, they're very like big oversized. I just have them upside down. So you have these are right side up. I just have these upside down to be able to close this lid because this lid not closing is, is an OCD problem for me. So turn them upside down, you'll be able to close them. All right, we're also still in the office. We're just literally on the other side. Here is the um, bookshelf that I have. Let me see if I can't. Is that better? I know the lighting is probably terrible. Cause that's the mirror that's normally what i use to record but yeah so this is the shelf um if you guys know before in my um clothes update all this just had purses on it well i kind of wanted it to be a little bit more like i said boutique style so i have a mixture of purses and handbags well down here let's see if we can't adjust down here are all of my tall boots 
you guys know where I'm going with this, right? I needed something to hold my boot because it's simply just like slumping over like these two are doing. No bueno. Um, I needed them to be nice and tall. So I ordered these inserts from Amazon. Nice, thick. What I love about these is that once you, like, if I'm done with them, um, so let's just say summer's here and I'm ready to put these boots away, this can flatten back out. So there is, I'm we'll literally just like, we'll put it under a rug to let it flatten out. And then it makes it easy to store because I don't want to have to store the boot like this. But when I'm wearing it to like for the fall and winter, I want it to be able to be stored. So I ordered these. I only ordered a three pair because I wanted to see how it worked. Um, because I had previously ordered some from Bed Bath & Beyond and absolutely did not like the quality. So I was like, let me just do a trial run before I commit to them. Love them. So I ordered another three pair um, to be able to fit this boot and then this boot. And then there's one more boot in the trunk of my car. But yeah, love these. Like I said, I think they were less than 20 bucks. I'll link it below. But a great way to, you know, keep your boots nice and tall. And then that keeps this nice and organized all right last thing in my coffers that i promise you guys we are going to pivot um i have a lot of jewelry you guys know that i make a lot i make jewelry and i have a tendency of keeping a lot of stuff that i make so i needed somewhere to house all of my jewelry and i had a bunch of like small pockets where i kept some jewelry but not others but kind of wanted like a one size fits all but everything that i was seeing was like this big tall ass mirror that sat on the floor that opened or something over the door and I didn't want to have anything on my door so I got this nice tall not really tall it's about I mean that's my hand so about from my elbow to my hand is about the um the height of it but it has one two three four five six seven eight. it has seven or eight <laughs> different compartments and I love it that it was able for me to get rid of a lot of other things. So, for example, this bottom drawer is a watch case. I had a separate thing just for watches, which was like, I don't know, it was a lot. The one up from that is one to house all your rings. I had a separate thing just for that. So, I just had a lot of like separate jewelry organizers that i wanted to be able to compile into one that's probably the most expensive thing on this journey it was about 70 bucks but it was definitely worth the investment because it's all able to be housed here nice and cute and then i just have it tucked behind um the door in my cloth is sitting on you know some shoe storage so really cute i think they have it in other colors but um i was obsessed with white okay we're finally leaving the coffers. Let's head to the bathroom. Okay, so we're in the bathroom. I apologize if there is a little bit of an echo, but we are in my bathroom. And this first item is probably not so much storage um, organization or as like decor, but it is my bathroom caddy. Um, I like it because one, it's a wooden caddy. I think it meshes well, especially with the vibe that's going on in here. But I'm able to kind of like put some cute stuff. I haven't really decorated as much as I should. Um, let's decorate it really quick, shall we? Let's get a plant. Right, let's see. Put this here, put that here. Is that cute? Give me this. It's a candle. It's cute, right? <laughs> um, so I like it. One is expandable. So I had gotten one. Um, let me sit down with you guys. I had gotten one in, um, I don't remember where I was. I'm pretty sure it was Home Goods, but it didn't hit the, the length of my bathroom. So I needed something a little bit longer. And so I like that this one is expandable. You guys can tell where it expands out. Um, and then, like I said, it's, it's all about being able to do a little TLC. So I pop, you know, pop some wine, soak in some bubbles, and just a great way for me to be able to relax. Like I said, this thing comes up like that, right? So I can just take my iPad, put it right there, um, and kind of like watch a movie or listen to some music, and just really just be able to like vibe out and relax, but it also still gives a great um, decoration element to your bathroom. So that is the first thing in the bathroom section. Once again, all right, yes, I am on the floor. So this next um, 
storage thing. If you don't know, of course you guys know that I am an influencer. And so I get, I'm also big on skincare, right? So I wouldn't say I'm strictly a skincare influencer because I do a ton of other things, but I'm really, really big on skincare. As such, a lot of brands send me a lot of things and there's a lot of things that I want to try, but I want to be able to organize it. And I think that most of Americans have a problem with their bathroom, especially the under cabinet storage. It can get a lot. And I was one of those Americans. So I got these bathroom organizers from Amazon. Let me see if I can't. So I got these bathroom organizers from Amazon. There are actually drawers, mesh drawers that come out. Um, and then you're able to house a little bit of everything in there. I love them one because they're tiered so you can put stuff on top and the bottom. I also love because they slide out to so their actual drawer so I don't have to worry about wondering, you know, what's all the way at the bottom of this shelf. I can always open that all the way up and nice steel durable so i just love everything about these i have one on this side and then i have one on this side so this just has legit all of the travel and miniature storage skincare up here and then this just has all of my like either my makeup wipes and then if i'm doing any like collaborations with a skincare brand i like to put these here so i'll know i need to try them first so like for instance i'm doing a collaboration with Tree Hut Sue and I'm testing theirs out. And you guys know that I've been working with Caress. Um, well, if you follow me on Instagram. So that's why that is sitting here. So great organization that I have going on under here and it just makes it look so much better. All right, let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so I have grown to, accustomed to loving to cook. I used to not really hate it. I just wasn't really a fan of cooking. I think since we, I think probably when we moved into our apartment before we got into this house, I'm just so inspired by a white and a gray kitchen and the apartment that we were at before here was white. So I kind of got inspired to cook. Um, and then my husband's just always been a cook. Ugh, showboat. <laughs> anyway, so we use a lot of spices. We use a lot of spices to cook. So I knew I had to organize some of that. So we over here in our spice store, let me... So this is our spice store and so what i got was this this has a combination of all of the popular spices you've got your thyme um savory dill weed paprika ginger parsley everything that you possibly could you know want to go for initially i got this um it was sitting out on the counter but then I didn't like it because it was black, so it's then been moved up here. So definitely love this. And of course it swivels so you don't have to worry about reaching over to get anything over there. Over here, this is a Lazy Susan. Maybe I should move you guys a little closer. So this, so this is our Lazy Susan. And what I like about this is that this, besides the spices, these are things that we might need to touch more often than anything you might see up here. So for instance, I like to do a lot of salads. You've got your baking bits. Of course, we have this salt and pepper things here. Okay, so we are one cabinet over. I don't really know what to call this one. I guess I, I don't know what to call it, but it has all the things that we need, like liquid bases. Um, it's got a hard of everything, but I wanted to show you a different Lazy Susan. It's a little bigger and then it is also plastic. So this has, I don't know what to call it. I've got cornmeal and sugar up here. I've got some um, breadcrumb, sugar, coconut flake. It's a little bit of everything. Of course, I've got, um, maybe, well, maybe I'll do these first. So these are just some oil bottles. Um, we like to cook with, of course, everybody loves olive oil. And then depending on what I'm cooking with, I like to do vegetable oil. So I just wanted to get two simple things to be able to um, quickly pick those up. And you guys can clearly tell which one's which, so I don't have to worry about, oh, is this olive, is this vegetable? You can clearly tell that this is the olive because olive's always darker. And then this is the vegetable oil. So those are two easy peasy things I got um, from Amazon. But over here is where we have the Lazy Susan. Readjust for you guys. So this is where we have the other Lazy Susan. And it's, um, I think I like to do Lazy Susans because I also have one um, on the other side. It's just things that I touch often. 
um, that I don't really want to put on the counters. I keep my counters not clean because there are some stuff on the counters, but um, I like for it to stay organized, right? So I wouldn't put this on my counter because you've got like the green from the Pam and then you've got the red. From, it just messes up the vibe in my white, gray, and gold kitchen. So I have it sitting up here, easy for me to reach. And then I love that the Lazy Susan, you can just like this brings me so much joy. So it has all of the oils that we need. Of course, the spray. Um, when my husband feels like doing homemade popcorn, so we have that's technically an oil. And then in the back, we have a vinegar with a little honey here. So Lazy Susans are definitely a way to not only organize your cabinet, but it's a way for you to easily grab things that you touch more often. Um, What else do I have in the kitchen? Let's see. All right, the last thing that I have, I don't, I didn't get these recently, but they're still out there. So I'm just going to show you. I actually got these when we first moved into the house because, yeah, my life is hectic. Is we have these, and I'll show you in a second. Um, we have these really long drawers, right? And so I wanted to be able to organize them. So I just bought some drawer organizers. Um, I've got one that's in a plastic, and then I've got some that are in wooden just a way to do a little separation in my drawers to keep them nice and cosmetic. Um, so I've got the wooden things here. These are um, the copper and gray. I've got the copper and gray um, cups. So this is a little organized here. Um, I like to keep the spoons right here because they are right by the oven. And then the same thing over here. I got one wooden one that has all of the grating stuff and then another plastic one. We've got wine on one in one, spatulas in another, not spatulas, tongs, and then the spatulas that are in the last one. So just a great way to organize um, my drawers. Like I said, I've actually had those for a while, but figured I would mention them to you because they're a great way to keep your drawers organized. Um, I will have to say that if you are concerned, measure your drawers first, right? You don't wanna just buy them and then assume that they would fit. I would measure and then buy however many you might need for it to be able to fit in your drawer. All right, I am pretty sure I saved the best for last. And that is my Keurig coffee pod stores, whatever you wanna call it. So, Okay, take this down. So this is my coffee bar area. I think I've shown it to you, not think, I know that I have shown it to you on my um, home tour, or whatever, I'll link it below if you guys wanna see it. But this is my coffee station and I'm very excited. I'm also even more excited because if you look over here, guess what just came in? An espresso machine. Don't judge, don't judge, okay? <laughs> um, so over here we have the um, Keurig and I like to be able to do all of my several pods are sitting under here nice and neat and then my Keurig is just sitting on top of that. If you have a Keurig and you do not have a storage or if you're thinking about a gift to give somebody that might have a Keurig, please give them a storage thing. Like it, it's heaven sent. It keeps everything nice and organized. Your pods aren't out. Um, definitely something that I've had that I have been obsessed with. Now I'm going to have to see about getting a storage for all of my Nespresso pods that I will be buying because if you haven't realized, she, me, her, we're coffee addicts. <laughs> All right, so guys, I think that is it. Like I said, I will make sure that I link absolutely everything that I showed you guys below in the description box. Um, I know that Amazon is, I don't know, um, has a lot of like controversy with some people and I understand that. And so feel free to shop anywhere else you may choose. I, it's just easier for me to shop Amazon. I don't have to worry about, you know, what I'm getting, why I'm getting it. I can always easily send it back. So. And then at the end of the day, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the container store, which is where I was going to try to get all of this stuff from. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far and you have not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. Go ahead. Do it now. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Don't forget. Oh, don't forget to check out all my other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great Sunday, guys. Bye.